were able to pivot and continue serving food in their dining rooms, albeit at a limited capacity. But what about catering companies who strictly make their profits off large gatherings? Our Hunter Hoagland talked to a caterer who found a new way to generate some income. Hunter. Yeah, Donna, Vibrant Occasions Catering has supplied food for some of the biggest weddings and corporate events in central Arkansas since 2002. But when it was recommended last year that gatherings stay limited to 10 people, they had to start their business from scratch. Cooking up business in the middle of a pandemic. We went from a record year the year before. Isn't exactly a recipe for success. To almost nothing. Serge Krikorian, better known as Chef Serge. A little bit of Asian slaw. He's been behind the grill for decades, running successful small business, vibrant occasions catering. But when the pandemic hit. It really is, it's devastating. He had to switch out his traditional ingredients. When this happened, you know, we had to do something. We were thinking about what, what can we do to be able to sustain us in the meantime. Putting their business on wheels, our mobile kitchen was born this month, popping up shop in cities across central Arkansas. We've gone to Little Rock. Well, obviously, we're here in Bryant. We're in Benton a couple of times a week. We're very excited about it. Thank you very much. While catering may have been put on the back burner, this chef says the best ingredient for cooking up something new is a positive attitude. I'm very optimistic. We're, as far as a catering company, we, we are booking really well. Chef Serge says they've had great success this past few weeks with the food truck and plan to keep it around once the big events pop back up. If you'd like to see where the mobile kitchen will be next, head over to our website, fox16.com. Back to you.